let's begin with the unlisted part of the lesson the lost chicken now firstly you should know what is unlisted these unlisted are extra questions which are not given in the book back exercises it means no list of these questions are given to you in your book these questions are from within the lesson means when you will read the lesson carefully when you read it thoroughly you understand it completely then only you will be able to answer these questions these questions can come in different forms but in your syllabus they are of two types one is mcq form and the other is true false so unlisted true false and unlisted questions in mcq form are only going to be tested so now the next important thing that you should know is what is mcq mcq is the short form of multiple choice question here m stands for multiple c stands for choice and q stands for question multiple means many c means choice choice means you have many options to choose from and the question form so now the question is going to come which has many options given and you have to choose only one correct answer and you have to put a tick in front of it it is very much similar to tick the correct option or tick the correct answer or you have questions in your books like tick the right answer but in those questions like tick the correct answer or right answer you will be given with only two options but here in mcq questions three or four choices are given to you out of which you have to choose only one i hope this is now clear to you that a question is going to come it has four or three options and you have to tick the right option you have to tick the right answer such questions are called mcqs or multiple choice questions now let's begin the discussion of the unlisted question answers which is in mcq form students i am going to provide you with the reading material of the lost chicken also today so that you can read the portion of the chapter and then it will be easy for you to answer the questions and students please don't get confused with the scene passage in the scene passage passage is given and some questions are given and you have to solve it but in unlisted it is different no passage is given to you you just have to solve the answers you just have to put the tick in front of the right answer but to make you more clear today what is an mcq question what different kinds of question can come i am providing you with the part of the lesson students let's read the lines from the chapter first so that it'll be better and easy for us to answer the questions so lines here are a hen has three chickens the three chickens sleep under her wings at night they hop in the garden during the day here the question is how many chickens do a hen has 5 3 or 4 so for the answer we can read the first line of the content it is written a hen has 3 chickens so how many chickens do a hen has here yes it is 3 a hen has 3 chickens so 
in front of three, a tick should be put. Here the question is, where do the chickens sleep at night? Under the hen's wings, under the hen's feet or under the tree. Now let's read the second line of the content next to it. The sentence here is, the three chickens sleep under her wings at night. It means that the chickens have slept under the hen's wings at night. So under the hen's wings is the correct answer and you can put a tick in front of it. Now let's see the next question. The question here is what do the chickens do in the garden? And see the third sentence of the content. It is, they hop in the garden during the day. So students, you can easily find out its answer now. So the correct answer here is hop and you will put a tick in front of hop. The chickens hop in the garden during the day. I hope this is now clear to everyone. Now here is the continued page one of the lesson. But the reading part has changed. So I am going to go through the reading part hurriedly and you can listen to it. The hen tells them, don't go out alone. The hen calls her chickens by their names. They are Sweety, Spotty and Smiley. Sweety and Spotty are obedient. But Smiley is not like them. He wants to go and see the outside world. One day he doesn't ask his mother and walks out of the house. Oh! How he likes the outside world. So here we have read that hen is telling her chickens that not to go out alone. Hen is calling the chickens by their names, Sweetie, Spotty and Smiley. Hen is also telling us that Sweetie and Spotty are obedient but Smiley is different and he wants to go out and see outside world. And one day he goes out without asking his mother. So now let's see what is there in the question. Who tells the chickens not to go out alone? The hen, a horse or a mouse? Here we have just read that hen tells her chickens not to go out alone. So the hen is the correct answer. So you will put a tick in front of the hen as it is the correct answer. The next question here is who doesn't ask the hen and walks out of the house? Which chicken here means which chicken has gone out of the house without asking his mother. Is it Smiley? Is it a horse? Or is it a mouse? The answer here is Smiley. Smiley has gone out of the house without asking his mother. So you will put a tick in front of Smiley and this way you have solved this MCQ question. Now let's go through the, these lines first. As he goes, he meets a horse standing near a tree. Where are you going, little one? You are so small. Don't walk on the street alone. Go back home, says the horse. Now here, the horse is standing near the tree and he is saying to Smiley that you are very small. Don't walk on the street alone and go back home. The further lines are, that is the next lines are, Smiley keeps on walking. Soon it becomes dark. I am hungry, 
I must have something to eat, thinks Smiley. He sees a mouse and asks politely for something to eat. So here Smiley keeps on walking. He doesn't listen to the horse and after some time it becomes dark and he feels hungry. So he went to mouse and asked very politely to have something to eat. He asked mouse that mouse should give him something to eat. So now let's see the question. Who is standing near a tree? Sweetie, smiley or a horse? So the answer here is a horse. A horse is standing near the tree. So now you can tick the answer a horse as it is standing near a tree. The next question is who asks Smiley to go back home? Is it the hen, Spotty or the horse? Students, we have just read in the lines that the horse tells Smiley to go back home. He should not walk on the street alone. He is very small. So the horse was saying these lines and the horse is the correct answer. So you will put a tick in front of the horse. Now let's read the lines first. I have nothing to give you, answers the mouse rudely. Poor Smiley, he is too tired to walk. It is getting dark. He is scared. He is hungry too. He wants to go back to his mother. He doesn't know what to do. Now here the mouse spoke rudely to Smiley. He speaks very rudely and said that I don't have anything to give you. Now it is getting dark also. Smiley has walked a lot so he's tired, he's scared, he's hungry and he wants to go back to his mother. But he doesn't know what he has to do for that. So let's check out with the question. Who speaks rudely with Smiley? The hen, sweetie or the mouse? The answer here is the mouse because the mouse has spoken rudely with Smiley. See, this is a very easy question. I know everyone must be knowing the answer to this one. So the question here is, who is scared and hungry? The hen, a mouse or Smiley? Yes. Every one of you must have guessed it right that Smiley is scared and hungry. So you will put a tick in front of Smiley as Smiley is the correct answer. Let's read the lines first. Suddenly a man comes and lifts him up. Smiley is scared but the man puts his hand Gently on him to make him warm. Gently means softly. A man comes, lifts up Smiley and as Smiley was scared because he doesn't know the man. So man puts his hand very softly, very gently on him to make him feel warm. He starts walking. After a long walk, he reaches a house. Smiley is surprised. It is his house. The man sets Smiley down on the ground. This means man has put Smiley down on the ground and there stands mother hen. Now let's check what the question is. The question here is who lifts up Smiley? The horse, the hen or the man? Here the answer is the man. The man lifts up Smiley. So you will put the tick in front of the man as it is the correct answer. The next question is who takes Smiley home? Spotty, the man or Sweetie? 
I think you all must have guessed the answer by now. The man takes Smiley home. Mama cries Smiley. I am so alone without you. The hen hugs Smiley tightly. Here Smiley says that he was very much alone without his mother and then hugs his mother and hen also hugs Smiley. The question here is whom does Smiley hug tightly? The hen, a mouse or a horse? The hen is the correct answer here. Smiley hugs his mother, the mother hen tightly because Smiley was feeling alone without his mother. I hope these MCQs are now clear to everyone. Students, please don't confuse these MCQ questions with the same passage. I have just read these lines to make you understand that you should know the chapter thoroughly so that you can answer these MCQ questions. I have provided you with the content, with the lines of the lesson, just to refresh your memory, just to make you understand that if you know each and every point of the line of the lesson, you will be easily solving these answers. Otherwise, it will become difficult for you to choose the correct answer. I hope all of these questions are now clear to you all. These are only some questions for your practice and for your understanding. You need not write it anywhere. You can go through this video again for your understanding. Thank you. Have a nice day.